A new study gives a unique window into the life of our ancient cousin, an animal called Pantolambda. Paleontologists learned about its growth by making thin sections, cutting the bones and teeth thin enough to let light shine through. This let Dr. Funston and his colleagues look at growth marks recording the days and years of Pantolambda's life. Features of the bone show how fast it grew and how many years old it was when it died. The teeth give a more precise record, showing daily pulses of growth during the animal's early life. The teeth also record a birth line, showing when the animal was born. The team looked further into the life of Pantolambda by analyzing the chemistry of the teeth. Using a precise laser to vaporize small amounts of material, they mapped the composition of the teeth. This showed chemical changes associated with major events in the animal's life, like birth. Using the daily growth marks in the teeth, this allowed them to precisely estimate how long Pantolambda mothers were pregnant, and how long the babies suckled before they were independent. Based on the birth line in the teeth, the team showed that Pantolambda was pregnant for seven months, and the baby's teeth developed quickly. Babies suckled for about one to two months, meaning that they were independent early in life. Using marks in the bones, the team found that Pantolambda would have reached sexual maturity in about one year. And they had a short lifespan, with most individuals dying at about four years old, but some individuals living up to 11 years of age. This study shows that Pantolambda gave birth to well-developed young, like many living species of hoofed mammals. This is the earliest evidence of this type of lifestyle in the fossil record, and it gives the clearest picture yet into the lifestyle of a long extinct mammal. Learn more about the study and its importance by checking out the paper, out now in Nature.